everybody, my name is Carissa and I'm the Fake It Till You Make It Mom. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're joining me for the first time, then welcome to my channel. Today you're joining me for Crafty Monday and it is October, so it's going to be Halloween themed. We're going to be making a wall hanging. It looks like this. And I found it on Pinterest. I thought it was nice because I can involve both of my girls with this project. I have a daughter named Kira who is 19 months old. She will be participating in the handprint spider. And I have a six month old daughter named Ari and she's going to be my ghost feet on there. And then we're also going to be doing a different um, one instead of the Frankenstein at the bottom. So um, I am gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need and I'm going to split each one up into a section so you can see how we make each one and then we'll do the finished product at the end. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what you need. Alright, so here's all the materials I have laid out. The first thing that I would recommend is this right here which is this plastic um, tarp or whatever and I actually got that for like 99 cents at Home Depot. And then up here I have three 8x10 canvas boards. They came in a three pack. I've got, this is just a sheet of duct tape. A regular roll of duct tape would be fine. I just did not have one. I've got a paper plate with various paint brushes, some q-tips, some potatoes with shapes cut out of them, and you'll see how I use those. So just different painting instruments and a paint surface. I've got some orange ribbon, some scissors to cut my ribbon and my paper. I've got some cardstock that I'm going to cut later, some binder clips so that I can cut the paper, um, two sheets of it, some tape, baby wipes of course, and right here I have orange, purple, white, yellow, and black paint. So those are all the tools and that I will be using during uh, this particular craft. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint each of these canvas backgrounds um, I'm going to do two of them in black, one top, one bottom one, and then I'm going to do the middle one orange. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those and let them dry, and then I will do the next step, which involves the girls. Alright, so my boards are all painted now. Like I said, I've got two black ones and one orange one, um, and we're going to, there's the top, middle, and bottom. So. We're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, this is Ari, and I'm going to be doing the first portion of the wall hanging the top with the ghosts. So we're going to be doing her little footprints on here, and it's going to be small, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and paint up her feet. Alright, so this foot is all painted. Let's go ahead and it's easier when they're this small to just press the board to it. So let's go ahead and one, two, three. That turned out really nice. So I went ahead and painted on the spider web on the orange um, canvas board and now Kira and I are going to do the spider hand prints. So let's go ahead and do that Kira. Let's do the hand prints. Oh windy huh? Hey. Okay let me see your hand. We're gonna do The hazards of trying to do a craft with a toddler is that she will tr knock over your tripod and break your lens. 
So, I no longer have a working DSLR, so I'm gonna try to do this with my iPhone. All right. Let's try this one more time. Wow. This is black. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this here. Okay. Ready? Ten. One, two, two. three. Go. Okay. Hold your hand like this. Don't touch. One, two, three. Go. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you can see that it didn't get all of it, but I can see where her fingers end, so I will go ahead and just paint those myself. Okay, you ready? Ten, two, three. All right, so we're going to go straight down. One, two, three. wipe off your hand okay so there's her hand prints this one got a little smeared as you can see when she did it but once this dries I'll go ahead and I'll add some eyeballs to it all right now we're gonna work on the bottom portion of the wall hanging we're going to do something a little bit different than the Frankenstein you saw in the Pinterest picture we're going to do some negative bats. I mentioned that you had needed some of this cardstock. And what I did on these is I drew two different kinds of bats. You, if you go online, I'm sure you can find all kinds of different bats. Um, you could probably even print them and cut them out. Here you go, babe. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this for you guys. Uh, All gone. All right, so I have cut out my bats. I've got two different shapes as I had mentioned. And so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. So we're going to take one of the black boards that I had painted and I am going to take my tape. And first I'm going to see how I like these to be set up. I think, leave it alone please. I think that I like something like that, maybe. Do you like that? Wow. Yeah, okay. So I like it the way it looks like that. Now keep in mind that these, I'm just going to tape on there because I'm gonna remove these. Um, so let me go ahead and tape those on. All right, so I've got my bats on the board like this and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and let Kira paint um, all over the board. I have all kinds of different uh, painting tools for her. I've got various paint brushes. I've got these um, potatoes I carved into them. Like this one, I carved out little holes. This one, I made like a star pattern. I've got Q-tips for her to dip and dab. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put paint on this plate and I'm gonna let her go crazy. And while she does that, I'm going to put the eyes and everything on the spider that she made. So I am going to use, for this one, we've got some purple. And I'm going to just let her go crazy. So it's going to be all mix and match. I got purple. I got white. I've, 
right. Got orange. And I'm sure she'll use her fingers and her feet and all kinds of stuff. And then I'm gonna use yellow. So I am just gonna let her go crazy and we'll see what we get. All right, Kira, here's these for you to use. You remember? And these, and paintbrush. Alright, after slapping it around for a little bit, we ended up with this, and so I'm going to let it dry just for a little bit, um, and then I will peel off those bats and we'll see what we got. Now I'm going to get Kira cleaned up, and then I'll do the finishing touches. Alright, so here are all three of the boards finished. I'm going to now assemble them, so I'll show you guys how to do that, and then we'll see the finished product at the end. Okay, so I've got four small pieces of ribbon and I've got two long pieces of ribbon. I'm going to cut my duct tape into some manageable strips to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is my very first one, so this is going to be the top one. And so I'm going to put them like this. And I'm gonna take my duct tape. Secure those ribbons. All right, 
right, so I am going to go ahead and tie this knot and show you the finished product inside my house. All right, so this is the finished wall hanging. It is dark, so it's hard to get an idea of what it really looks like, but overall I'm happy with it. I'm just unhappy that my camera broke. As you can see the details that I added, I wrote boo there and put eyes and mouths on the ghosts. I put happy Halloween and little eyes and fangs on that spider. And then when I peeled off the bat, uh, it looked like that. So overall I'm happy Kira is currently playing with her blocks. That's what that noise is. And yeah, so I hope you liked this Crafty Monday and this Halloween themed wall hanging and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video that you saw today go ahead and hit that like button uh, the big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below any information you may want as far as materials you would need are going to be in the description box below and thank you guys so much for watching bye, bye